Welcome to this video about the Vivo X100 Pro. I have the Chinese model here. I want to do a long-term review about this one, but this is not the topic of this little video here. It's about the AOD because I hacked yeah, apps like Twitter and other apps onto the always on display notifications. And because I got asked how to do it, this is the right video for you, especially if you're an original S user on Vivo devices. So let's get started. You can see here on my always on display I have a Twitter notification uh, that is usually not the case because if you go into your original as settings like home screen lock screen always on display more display settings AOD notifications you can see it by default only shows you messages phone and WeChat and if you have other applications like QQ installed it will also allow you to use QQ but apps that we usually use here in the West, like for example, X, Tusky, or Mastodon, Telegram, Jitsi, Reddit, TikTok, uh, TikTok maybe not, but Instagram, WeChat, uh, BBM even, or other applications that I just simply want to also appear on the lock screen as a notification. How to do this? And yeah, the first thing that you have to do is you go to your Play Store, if you have it installed, otherwise you just install it on your Chinese device, and install an application called set edit because this is the one that can perform the magic and after you install it you can open it already i have it now here and what you will see is not under the system table but under the secure table you have allow notification app list v3 and this is basically what the always on display uses as applications for showing on the always on display and you will see that here if i edit the value i added quite a few of those like twitter tusky or everything that i showed you bbm even and others to yeah be allowed there as a notification uh, on the always on display but you cannot change settings by default here if you try to change anything there it will tell you it's not possible to change the secure table and what you need to do is then connect this device via ADB and developer options. So let's check out how to go to the developer options. What you need to do is to go into your system settings and about phone, it will show you all the information about your phone. You go to version info and then you click the software version as long as it gender states you are now a developer. As you see, I am already a developer, so I don't have to do it again. Then you go out back to your settings, you go to system management and upgrade and there you scroll down and you will find the developer options. You have to enable the developer options, it will warn you about this and afterwards you scroll down until you find USB debugging and this is the one that you also have to turn on because we need to use a USB-C cable uh, to connect to our computer and then use an um, yeah, application called ADB to get this one command that set edit was listing us into this device. So basically what you have to do is like put this command in, hit enter after connecting with ADB shell to your device after uh, connecting it via the USB cable there. And this allows you then to do the change. But what is more interesting is of course you saw the names, they're not like just Telegram or something, they are package names of the APK itself. So there is a command that you can also use an ADB shell to get to list all of the applications there and you can just simply yeah, search or filter out the names that you want to have. Like for example, I searched for Telegram and would filter out the complete package name of Telegram or for Signal, which is like, the package name is actually not Signal, but Secure SMS. This has something to do with Signal before called Secure SMS and such things. But after you figured out all those package names, just what do what I do, just write them down in a text file or something like this. So you can then copy and paste it into the set edit program. And the only thing that you need to do then is go into your set edit, go to the secure table, click on the allow notification app list v3, click on edit value, and then 
it is important that you don't delete the previous entries that were there. You just add a semicolon and then your new entry and then again a semicolon and a new entry. So each of those apps is uh, divided by the semicolon there. And at the end, don't forget to put the semicolon as well, otherwise it will not work. So this is then the list that I have here and yeah, enjoy your AOD screen. So wait a second, how does this ADB thing work? Maybe I rushed it a little bit there because I'm not sure if everyone is like on the same page as me. I'm, Linux, I'm using a Linux distribution because I'm a Linux developer and also a Linux guy. So I have ADB, this application, already installed on my Linux distribution. Otherwise, I can easily install it. On Windows, you can, of course, download and install ADB as well as on Mac OS. So you have to download this specific piece of software that allows you to connect your Android phone to your PC, laptop or whatever you have and to have like ADB shell which allows you to execute commands directly on the device itself which is like this grand command. What, what does it do? It allows you to write those secure table settings with this application called set edit. So you're uh, giving it permissions to write to this uh, secure table. It is usually not allowed for Android applications to do such things so you have to use this command line to give it the permission to do so. So hopefully this uh, gives you a little bit of the explanation on how to do it here with ADB, what ADB is a little bit otherwise you can of course Google or use your favorite search engine to figure out what ADB is and how you can use it uh, with your device. This will work very, very good until you restart your device. After restarting your device, it might not work anymore. You can just go into set edit again, see if all your entries are still there. Usually it should keep those entries. If they are gone, you can re-edit those entries. And of course, you have to do the ADB uh, grant uh, option maybe again as well for the set edit application. But otherwise, if it is there still but not working, what you can do is going into your home screen wallpaper, always on display, more display, I was on AOD notifications, and you just turn off this toggle here, show notification on the off screen, turn it off, wait a second, turn it on again, and it should work again also with all your other applications. And this is how you can get those notifications on the always on display. It's gone now right now because I don't have any new ones but this is how you can get this running there in a pretty convenient kind of way. I know it's not the easiest kind of way to do it but it's not super super complicated if you follow this video here. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope some Origin OS users not only on the Vivo X100 Pro maybe also the new Vivo X Fold free series or maybe the UX100 uh, Ultra or other devices are happy now uh, that they have the possibility to configure this a little bit. So what do you think about this video? If you like this video click on the like button and until the next time bye.